We're thrilled to have Alana Wong and Trevor Stokes here to talk about an incredible initiative here in our city. Trevor, tell us a little bit about the Street Front Alternative. Uh, we're a program for kids uh, grade 8 to 10 from Britannia Secondary, but we're an alternative program, so we have offered an opportunity for kids to try and get themselves re-engaged back in school. They're kids that have kind of fallen off the traditional track, and they need uh, some support and some I don't know, higher level uh, kind of exposure to try and get themselves back in a position where they can feel comfortable kind of reclaiming where they belong in school and then move on to the next level after that. Let's get your story, Elena. You're no longer a member of the Street Front Alternative Program because you've moved up to grade 11 now, yeah. but what saw you enter the program in the first place? Uh, well, I wasn't quite making it to school. A lot of the time I couldn't really um, motivate myself. Maybe I just didn't want to go, like, you know, whatever it was. And I, I did have some struggles with at, at home. It wasn't very, um, you know, ideal in a lot of ways. Um, and so Street Front, just, they just kind of got me back into my regular ways, getting me back into my um, sports. They had, and like my family, we grew up with a lot of outdoor sports activities. Um, they got us into camping, and it was just like, it was the perfect environment. We, they got everyone to bond and out in the outdoors and away from everything, and it was like 24-7 with each other. We had, had to figure out how to get along. And nice. So like, it was perfect. Like a family. Yeah. What was yeah. your best outdoor adventure with Street Front Alternative? I think it would have to be the canoe trips because just getting us on the water, figuring out how to um, manage working together um, as a team and not flipping over in yeah, a canoe and, and not making each other crazy right because you know in a lot of ways when just let's say uh, we would have one of our friends who is afraid of water or spiders and we, we would joke about um, having a spider in the water or and like which one or in the canoe and then water all around us which one would you choose and just kind of torturing them with that and it's like right bonding well, as only teenagers yeah. can between the grades eight nine and ten right. now you are going to Trevor be taking th your group at Street Front uh, to Mount Kilimanjaro that's right yeah. in March in March 2015 yeah that takes money that takes a lot of money yes. tell us how you're raising money uh, we've been raising money for the last uh, well we were fortunate enough to come to breakfast television a while back and uh, uh, we've been just trying to generate as much money we can from our own community we come from mostly from the downtown east side and we've done really well we raised up we're upwards to over fifty thousand uh, dollars every six thousand dollars we raise we're able to take another student with us so right now we're roughly between eight to ten students depending on if people follow through with their commitments and so your program is completely funded by donations in that regard? Entire, it, well, this this aspect of it for sure. Um, we're, we're funded outside from other sources for our day-to-day -day operations, but this trip alone is entirely built upon, and for the most part it's been built upon just by private citizens. Uh, we're hoping that the, the corporate world would start to rise up and start to support such an amazing initiative. There's almost, there's been, from our knowledge, there's been no program ever from North America that has went and taken school kids uh, to climb such a lofty goal and uh, we just believe it's super important to change the narrative of where we were from as you know with your dad this is a really pivotal like transforming uh, initiative because these kids don't move outside of 40 square blocks let alone have a chance to go to Africa and then climb the highest peak in Africa so the goal is to raise $140,000 you're at $55,000 now yeah. and Sunday is uh, one of the fundraisers that yeah. you're doing we did show Street to Peak uh, yeah. website but tell us about the uh, Strawn Hartley Legacy Foundation yeah, the, run. the Strawn Hartley Legacy Foundation supplies about 85% of our actually operating budget for the school year. They've been the most amazing organization and they have a wonderful run that's taking place this Sunday. It's at Hansworth Secondary in North Vancouver. Uh, it starts at 9.15. That's the 10K run, which is a rigorous, anybody that's got, you know, is up for a challenge. It's an amazing, amazing run. And then they have a 5K run as well. And all that money goes directly to support programs like Street Front to try and just get kids engaged through sport. And that's what the entire Strong Hartley uh, who passed away, that was his goal in life was just to get kids or you know young people engaged in sport and to change their lives through sport. Again, so that's Hansworth uh, Sunday in North Vancouver. So if you usually do the grouse grind or some hiking on the North Shore Mountains, just take a, take a left or a right or whatever yeah. will take you to Hansworth. Hansworth Streettopeak.com if you'd like to just simply outright make a donation to this very worthy cause. Elena, thank you for telling your story. Thanks. Trevor, it was good to see you. Thanks so much.